My Lord's health and safety has arguably never been more front and centre in our nation's thinking approach to health care. Uh, the Government is prioritising health care is in one of their flagship bills, is therefore likely expected. So I am proud of our Government. As proud as I am, I feel equally perplexed as to why Baroness Sugg's amendment seeking to override the Government's decision to end the temporary policy on at-home abortion would garner any serious consideration, given it would, in fact, contradict the very aims of the Health and Care Bill by placing the health and safety of women and girls at risk. It also distracts from important matters in the Bill for which the Bill was intended. The provision allowing at-home abortion made alongside a host of other Covid regulations during an unprecedented global crisis was only ever meant to be temporary, alongside almost all other temporary provisions of the Coronavirus Act that the Government is expiring or has already expired. The Prime Minister said that the Covid restrictions pose a heavy toll on our economy, our society, our mental well-being and the life chances of our children. The health toll could not, in the, case, in the specific case of the temporary provision allowing an at-home abortion, be more apparent, a toll being taken upon vulnerable women and girls. As highlighted by a submission to the Government consultation on this matter, the lack of in-person consultation increases risks of potentially life-threatening conditions being missed pills being prescribed beyond the 10-week limit, more women being coerced into a home abortion against their wishes, and pills being obtained fraudulently. And these are not unwarranted concerns. Soon after the temporary policy was implemented, story after story emerged of the tragically painful experiences women underwent as a result of this policy. For example, a Telegraph article reported on a nurse whose at-home abortion led to extreme complications needing surgery. Indeed, there have been several cases of women taking these abortion pills outside of the legal and safe time limit. For example, in May 2020, police investigated the death of an unborn baby after a woman took pills received by post at 28 weeks pregnant. Such cases are unsurprising given abortion providers cannot ensure that at-home abortion pills are taken by the intended person in the intended circumstances and time. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists, only half of women accurately recall their last menstrual period, again reaffirming that medical confirmation of her gestational period is critical. Given the vast evidence base highlighting how this policy has placed women's health and safety at risk, an evidence base thoroughly view, reviewed by government via its extensive three-month consultation, I would urge Baroness Sir to withdraw her amendment, but if she does not, I urge you to vote against it.